At dahil balik uh, enhanced community quarantine o ECQ, balik pagigpit din sa lockdown ngayon ang lokal na pamahalaan po ng Cebu City. Kaunay niyan, mausap natin Cebu City Mayor Edgardo Labella. Bye, buntag Mayor, si Igan, Connie at si Susan. Ayong buntag. Bye. Ayong buntag Mayor. Ayong buntag. Opo, nung huli tayo nag-uusap eh, sabi nyo, sana manatili lang sa GCQ. Ginawa ka yung ECQ. So, <laughs> ano pong sitwasyon ngayon sa Sibut Kamusay, ating mga kababayan dyan? Okay. First of all, good morning, Egan. Good morning, yes. Susan. Good morning, Connie. At good morning sa inyong mga televiewers. Well, of course, uh, since there was this order from the national government, uh, we really have to abide by, comply with it, and observe right away. Yesterday, we instructed the police and all the other functionaries of the city government to implement the protocols of the uh, ECQ. But uh, Egan, as I've said, uh, I recall that uh, I think it was three or four days ago during in your program that mm. I was confident that uh, we will retain, we will remain uh, GCQ. GCQ Apple. But, then, but then there was this decision, so we really have to abide by it. But Egan, uh, I have to make an appeal because there is this review mechanism wherein mm -hmm. we can appeal the decision of the national IATF. And okay. we are going to file it today because it is always our position that we have done enough. Egan, pwede bang magsalita pa? Okay. Sige po, sige po. Okay. Now, as I've said, sa Cebu City, I think uh, we are the, sabihin ko na lang, no, casting modesty aside, na sa mga local government units, we have the most number of people tested. As early as the first, uh, the last week of March, uh, we purchased uh, uh, got PCR machines and 35,000 swab kits. Uh, so we were able to test already 10,000 plus 50,000 uh, rapid testing. So all in all, we have tested 25,000 people in the city of Cebu. We are doing this because we believe, Egan, that the, uh, the, the criteria or the, the, the modes of Fighting this invisible enemy is to massive uh, testing, contact tracing, treatment, and isolation. Now, that's the reason why we are exactly doing that. Okay. So that if you look at the numbers, talagang marami. Uh, but itong lately, latest, yung madami by cause, nag-backlog ang ating result sa tigos mm -hmm. sa upusan awag na uh, uh, reagent. So instead na ma-spread yung number, uh -oh. uh, na iisa. So, as of June 15, kaya yun sigurong natingnan nila, June 13 man yung nakita nila. As of June 15, uh, ang nakita na confirmed cases is 3,613. Uh -oh. But igan, of this 3,613, because of our intervention and the kind of treatment and isolation that we are doing, well, 1,874 have already recovered, giving us a recovery rate of 51. Uh -oh. Percent. Ang national is 23% lang ang recovery rate. Opo. So yung pagdoble ng bilang, hindi dahil mga bagong kaso ito, kundi dumami yung test nyo, Mayor. Uh, yung results kasi, natagalan. But even assuming na dumami, but if you look at the recovery rate, uh, marami talagang uh, because of the intervention, because we isolated uh -huh. uh, our tinatawag na asymptomatic positive, although ang Department of Health uh, home quarantine lang. Kami, naglagay kami ng barangay isolation centers, 52 that can accommodate 3,000 uh, positive asymptomatic para ma-isolated men after we were uh -oh. So, i-apila nyo ngayong araw. Apila. Oh, Mayor, oh, dahil balik lockdown po kayo, eh, may magkakaroon ho ba ng ayuda para doon sa mga kababayan natin dyan sa Cebu, Mayor? Well, of course, uh, we expect that as uh, pronounced by the good a spokesman. But one thing that I would also like to underscore, mm. the fact that Cebu City, if not one of the lowest uh, among the local governments, fatality rate, our fatality rate because of our intervention is only 1.08%. Mm -hmm. And fatality rate of the national is 4.16% as of June 15 mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. of the kind of intervention that mm -hmm. we've been doing. Mm -hmm. So, and uh, of course, uh, we will continue to do that. Maraming nag-advise sa akin, stop the testing para hindi dumami. Mm. No, I will never do that. Okay. Pero, 
Ito, Mayor, yes. uh, oh, kasi ang sabi naman din ay punuan na raw po yung mga ospital dyan sa Cebu City. Ano ho ba ang update dyan? May mga ginagawa na ho ba tungkol dito ang uh, inyo pong uh, lokal na pamahalaan? I will answer that. Sinasabi that the critical utilization rates sa mga hospitals ay dumadami. Mm. You know, Cebu City private hospitals do not only admit patients from Cebu City because this is the center. Uh, Cebu City hospitals admit patients from the provinces, the island province of Cebu, Leyte, Samar, Bohol, Siquijor, Negros Oriental. But anyway, uh, that button has been issued already. I called a meeting with the owners of the biggest hospitals in the city. And we have increased by 30% on the ICUs and the rooms. So we have addressed that concern. But the other thing is that uh, hindi pwedeng ma-overwhelm ang mga hospitals. Mm -hmm. If only ma-implemented what we have been implementing because our Barangay Isolation Center can accommodate 3,000 and we have been doing that na mga positive asymptomatic. And then for the mild moderate cases, mayroon kami tatlong mga uh, quarantine centers. Yun ang sa Cebu City, yung CCQC, it can accommodate 160 to 200. And mm -hmm. At din now, mga 40 lang ang nandyan pa, mild moderate cases. Mm -hmm. Bayanihan, maka-accommodate mm. uh, okay. ng 60 at saka yung International Eucharistic okay. Congress I can accommodate. And these have not been filled up. So it's not quite fair to say that uh, ang, ang critical utilization rate ng Cebu, uh, of course, if you look at the hospitals, but treating the COVID uh, virus patients is not only done in the hospitals because the positive asymptomatic, are, yeah. we place them in our Barangay Isolation Centers. We have 3,000 okay. beds there. That's why there are many recoveries. And of course, we have also, the for the mild, moderate cases, we have these uh, quarantine centers which we have built up. Uh, okay. And these are equipped with uh, negative pressure and all other amenities. And okay. Mayor, abangan na lang namin yung apila nyo kung uh, ito ay uh, tatanggapin ng IATF. Maraming salamat po. Ingat po kayo dyan sa Cebu. Salamat, Thank you, Igan. Thank you, Connie. Thank, Thank you, Susan. Sir. Thank you. Cebu City Salamat. Mayor Edgardo Labella.